Well, I think, um, you know, I think there are a number of different reasons for having murals and a number of different approaches to doing it. You know, there are murals which are valuable to the community. Um, I really came at it from sort of a fine art, fine art standpoint. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to do works that kind of had the element of surprise. You're walking down the street, you run into this work of art, which shouldn't be there, you know, and, and that in itself. And that was where I started. Uh, the work actually does get more into trying to define a space. They're very site-specific. Um, like performances, they can often become collaborative pieces, both in terms of, of uh, working with other artists and the interplay of uh, ideas that happen, or uh, generally if uh, you know, the work is, is already scripted in, in the way that uh, the artists carry it out uh, together, and, and the, you know, the, the different styles, how they, how they mesh to uh, make a unified piece. A lot of the work I've done has been uh, you know, in situations like freeway underpasses, where you would like to minimize the amount of time that you spend there, and uh, you know, but still you want the, the piece to work, and just the amount of physical labor uh, it seems foolish to try to do it all uh, on your own. So generally, I look for compatible artists, artists who are interested in that form, who have skills and the, the discipline to help carry it out. Um, you know, I've worked with uh, a number of qualified muralists over the years. Uh, Herschel West would certainly be, you know, the top of that list. Uh, Dan Fonts has worked with me. Um, in recent years, I've tried to hire younger artists to work with me. There's kind of a passing on of the tradition, shall we say, you know. We first met when, uh, when he first came to town. I was, Herschel likes to tell the story, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's true that uh, he, he wanted to come out and work with a California muralist, and he had known my work, and, and lo and behold, he showed up in Richmond, and there I was painting a mural on San Pablo Avenue. So we became friends, um, and uh, I don't know anybody that admires my work, how can you avoid that? You know? And uh, Herschel worked with me probably first on the... Uh, the project that we did for the uh, the train station here in Richmond, and uh, um, he actually was functioning probably as much as a project manager on this on this one as, as anything else because we had several assistants. It was twenty five thousand square feet of uh, a lot of it was just rolling rolling paint, um, but we did all the Herschel helped me. We did all the wall prep. Had to smooth out the walls to paint the uh, the uh, uh, faux bas relief sculpture. I guess that would be the term, and uh, and help me do all the work on that. And from there, uh, we worked together on the uh, on the mural out in Pinole, which was again a very large underpass. It was maybe uh, you know twenty five thousand square feet. Of paint there, and it was over six lanes of road. We had to hire a uh, a lane control uh, company to do the overhead work to uh, to block the lanes while we were doing that. And um, you know, just I, I couldn't have done that one without Herschel. I mean, you know, physically, conceptually, the the, the whole piece. And